As an explorer and wildlife filmmaker, I have seen firsthand the destructive impact of climate change. But it's not just our planet that's suffering. The climate crisis is the single biggest threat to human health. So I started a journey to find out what the healthcare sector is doing to tackle climate change and become sustainable. I'm Malaika Vaz and this is Mission Regenerate. The more I explore, the more I see the link between the health of people and the health of our planet. I feel we're at a critical moment in history and our actions will make all the difference. How we treat nature has an impact on our health and the future of life on Earth. A healthy environment contributes so much to our health and well-being. But what can big organizations do to help look after nature? How can the healthcare sector not only reduce its own impact, but also help to restore and regenerate the natural world? What we're really increasingly understanding is that some of the drivers behind climate change, such as loss of our ecosystems, our forests, our biodiversity, and things like air pollution caused by carbon and other emissions, are also drivers of poor health as well. So that's why acting on both simultaneously is really, really critical. It's no longer enough to do less harm. We have to do good. Mission Regenerate is about our commitment to biodiversity, regeneration, to make natural habitats and our cities more healthy than they are today. I think it goes beyond physical health as well. Just looking around like where I am at the moment, when I'm in settings like this, I'm feeling happier, healthier, and it really shows that there is an important connection between health and the land. So healthcare companies can make an impact with projects that regenerate and protect nature. But what does this look like in practice? Around the world, Bupa is working to support people's physical and mental health, creating greener spaces to make cities healthier places for people to live. Es muy importante que tengamos mayor presencia de árboles en las zonas urbanas porque han sido directamente relacionados con el bienestar emocional y físico de las personas. The Healthy Cities program has been helping regenerate nature for seven years, already active in many countries. Bupa will be building the program even further globally from 2023 and beyond. Ahora, hoy, regenerar eh, los entornos en los que vivimos, empezando por las ciudades, los entornos urbanos en los que vivimos, porque generar mayor diversidad y mayor masa eh, forestal y verde en nuestras ciudades va a repercutir positivamente en la salud de las personas. In healthy cities, people are challenged to walk 6,000 steps every day for two months. And we promise that if they make it, we will plant a tree for everybody who completes that challenge. And the idea is, and the link is, you look after your health, and in the process, you also look after the planet's health. Bupa supports UK charity Trees for Cities to plant trees both in the UK and internationally to improve lives. We have planted over one and a half million trees, worked with coming up to 100,000 community members and over 200 schools. They learn about what they can do to improve air quality. They become the ambassadors of the future. In Egypt, Bupa is partnering with non-profit Very Nile to empower local fishermen to clean the Nile. Every day, they remove an average of 100 kilograms of plastic waste. That's almost 40 tons per year. The reaction to the Very Nile project has been really just quite amazing. It's not only environmentally focused in terms of cleaning up the Nile and the pollution within the Nile, but it's about giving employment locally to a population that has been left to itself. And I think that's really quite beautiful. In Australia, the Bupa Foundation is partnering with UNICEF Australia to find out how improving children's environments can significantly help their well-being. The Bupa Foundation and UNICEF Australia have been working really well to ensure that young voices have their values and opinions shared on how they would like to see their cities and communities designed. The way that cities are designed are really important in the way that children and young people have their mental health and physical health shaped children want their cities to be green. They want renewable energy. Access to green space, access to the environment is increasingly important and we as adults and we as urban planners have to respond to that. My generation of young people are certainly a lot more vocal and more passionate about doing things to change. Once we're the leaders, 
will make much more change than what's being made now. Bupa are also collaborating with Conservation Volunteers Australia to protect vital natural habitats. One of the most important factors in sustainability is the ability to work with others to achieve sustainable ends, to make progress on some of these big issues. And that's one of the reasons we're working with someone like Conservation Volunteers Australia on beach cleanup programs. What's very exciting for myself and for my colleagues is how we see corporate leaders stepping forward to take action for nature. Bupa are joining us and helping us amplify and accelerate the work we are doing and will enable us to grow this community of a million people taking action for nature. I feel strongly that what we put into nature, we are giving back through our health and well-being. So it's been fascinating to learn about the ways big organisations can take positive action for nature. I wanted to hear from some of the people featured so far in our series. What are their hopes for a sustainable future for healthcare? The factor that I hope creates the biggest sustainable change in health is actually one that's about a shift in mindset, so one that focuses on health and well-being in a much broader context rather than focusing on treatment of disease. I think that shift will enable us to make the relationships between a healthy climate, a healthy planet, as well as healthy people. There's a huge amount that we need to do. We realise also that time is short and we've got to make progress quickly. We're still beginners and our ambition is to be leaders in our sector in sustainability. By collaborating, by partnering, that's the way it will get done. There isn't any one magic bullet other than that one of all coming together on multiple actions, talking to other people, engaging with them. It's when people come together that things really change. The healthcare sector can model the fundamental transformation to renewable energy, to green chemistry, and sustainable agriculture as conditions for what a resilient and climate smart healthcare sector looks like in the future. I've been on a journey to discover how Bupa and the healthcare sector can reduce their impact and help conserve our incredible planet. It's clear this is just the start of the story and now the whole of healthcare must come together to achieve their goals. Personally, I'll be watching with interest to find out where it all leads. If you want to learn more about sustainability at Bupa or in healthcare, hit subscribe in the Bupa YouTube channel.